In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create custom marker animations inside of Adobe Photoshop and then Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So the first step is to start in Photoshop and we're going to start by going new file and we're going to create a new canvas or a new document. So we're going to set this to our composition size. So if you've got 1920 by 1080, go for that. But I'm going to go 4K, so 3840 by 2160. Then I'm going to press OK and we have our new document or our new canvas. So from here, I am going to go to layer, new layer. Press OK on this, and then I'm just going to go on to the T icon. Then I'm just going to type out a specific character. So I'm just going to tap on here and I'm going to go for E. Then I'm just going to change the color to make it obvious. And we'll increase the size of this. So I'm just going to use this as a reference. Now, if you wanted to, you could change the font, but you essentially just want to add in the letter and then just lock this off. Now we're going to go into layer, new layer. We're going to press OK on this new layer. Then we'll go to the paintbrush tool. We'll go into this option up here and you can select one of these presets. So you can select a drawing box. You can select one of these special effects. It's completely up to you. I might go for this charcoal pencil. I'm going to increase the size. Let's go for something around 200% or 200 pixels. And then I'm just going to change the color to black. Press OK, and then we can draw our first line. Now I'm just going to draw the entire letter, see if I'm happy with that. I feel like I want that a little bit thicker, so I'm just going to undo everything that I just did and increase the thickness. So let's go to around 400. Now I'm going to draw that line again. I'm just going to draw around the letter, make sure I'm happy. And this is what it would look like. So I think that looks quite nice. So I'm just going to undo everything I just did one more time. And now on layer one, I'm just going to draw my first line. Then we'll go layer, new layer, and we'll draw the next line. Then again, layer, new layer, and keep repeating this process. You want each line to be on a different layer. So with all of those layers now complete, I can just delete the red E. I can get rid of that. And I can also get rid of the background if I wanted to but I'm going to keep that there for now. Now from here, we want to go to file, save as, and we want to save this onto the computer. And we want to make sure the format is a Photoshop format and we can just call this E. Now we're going to jump into Premiere and inside of Premiere, we want to go into the media browser. Then you want to navigate through to that specific clip. So as you can see, this is the Photoshop document. I'm just going to right click and select import and we'll get this up here. It's really important that we do not merge all the layers. We want to go into that and put individual layers. Press OK, and now we can see we've got a new folder created. So we can go into this folder and we can drag all of those layers onto our composition. Now, as you can see, this is the background. So I'm gonna move all of the letters up and move the background over. Now you just want to stack all of these on top of each other like this. And as you can see, we've got each different line separated onto its own layer. So from here, we can now animate this on. Now, there's many different ways of doing this. We could go into crop and crop it on. We could mask this on. We could use any sort of transition, but I'm going to go for the masking method. So first of all, I need to figure out where I am. So layer one is the top. So I'm just going to go into effect controls, opacity, free draw bezier, and I'm just going to draw a mask around this shape like this. Then I'm going to go to the very beginning and drag that mask over to the left, create a brand new keyframe on the mask path, move over to around six or seven frames and we'll move the mask over. So we get this. Alternatively, if you wanted, you could change the direction. So you start to the right and go over that way. But you can see at the moment, it doesn't look very pretty because we've got this harsh edge just here. So to get rid of that, I'm just going to soften this off with the mask feather. And we end up with that. So now that I've added that, I can now start work on the next layer. So halfway through that movement, I'm going to create a brand new keyframe on the next layer, which is layer two. I'm going to draw a mask around this line. Then I'm just going to move that up off screen and create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. Then I'll move four frames over 
and I'll pull this down. Again, we'll increase the feathering and when we play this back, you can see we've got those two lines now animating on. So now that we've got that animated on, we can make some adjustments if we wanted to, or alternatively, we can just highlight all of the text layers. So one, two, three, four, right click and select nest. We can call this E. And then we can just scale this nested sequence down. Move this over and as you can see, we've got this animated E. So then you could just work your way through the alphabet, create all of the different letters that you need, stack them on top of each other like this to the point where you spell out words. You can delay that animation start time. So you end up with something like that. Now this does take a while to set up in Adobe Photoshop, but once you've done all of that hard work and you've animated it all, you can save these as presets. So you can just save these and use them for your project. And this means you can create your own custom text marker pack. And anytime you're doing anything that requires these brush type animations, you can just pull them from your own pack. So that is how you create this really awesome marker pack animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro with the help of Adobe Photoshop.